guys. I know this is uh, getting out of sequence, but I am done with this old grasshopper build. And I thought I would give you guys a peek and show it off a little bit. Um, I have got to say that of all the vehicles that I have in my collection, this is probably one of the top three that I actually enjoy running. Uh, I can't explain why there's just something, something kind of, uh, something kind of comical about this car going across, uh, the yard and across all the, the places that I've, I've run it so far. The suspension is so springy. It's unbelievable. It just hops all over the place. I guess that's where they got the part of the name, the grasshopper, because it does. It just hops all over. Now, I do want to go back and let you guys know that I have made some changes on it because I just cannot leave things alone. <laughs> uh, when I built the car, I said I was going to keep it as close to budget as I possibly can. And as it stands right now, uh, with the cost of the car being, I think it was close to 110 somewhere in 110 bucks. the only real major expenditure that I spent on the car would be the, the wheel covers. They were $41 off of eBay. So I've still have, you know, roughly a hundred and 150 bucks, let's say in this thing. Um, now <laughs> when I first ran it with the 380 in it, it was fun. It was a lot of fun, but it was just incredibly slow because I'm, I'm used to running, uh, the, the Scorpion and all the other ones that have the 540s in it. Well, I had a an extra 540 silver can sitting here. So I did something I probably shouldn't have done, and I, I went ahead and put a 540 in it with an 18-tooth, 32-pitch uh, pinion gear on it just to, just to make it a little faster. And, man, did it wake it up. Um, it's still a fun car. <laughs> Uh, it's, it's incredibly straight for what it is. Um, it's just a handful. You, you drive this car. People don't understand that whenever you build these things that sometimes you do have to get a, a handful of steering wheel to operate. And this is one of them, especially on loose dirt. Uh, it, it will get the back end at, you know, outside of itself in, incredibly quick. Um, the only other thing that I've, I've done to it, um, now these are just parts that I had in that bin over there. Uh, I did change the front wheels to Barons. That's it. I had some extra Barons. I put Barons on the front wheels and I may put a couple inside of the transmission. I can tell you right now that I'll wind up and build another one of these and keep it bone stock. But with the fun, the amount of fun that I've had running this car, I just couldn't leave it alone. So I just felt like I owed it to, to it, to, you know, put bearings where I can. Uh, I am going to open that transmission up and put a couple bearings. It's not many bearings in it or many bushings in it. So I may have enough bearings to go ahead and just completely outfit the transmission with bearings. Um, and I, here's something else I did. And I actually, I know it's not great and I'll do the best I can to get you a decent shot, but I painted the driver. Now it's not great. Am I an artist by any means? No, but I cannot tell you how therapeutic it was to get in here and just lock myself in the shop and paint these drivers. Um, let me turn this thing around. It's a little better shot, maybe. But, you know, is it going to win any kind of awards? No. <laughs> but, but it does add to a little bit of realism. I also did paint the cage bars uh, black, flat black. And instead of just doing white and black on my, the running, the fog lights, I did silver on those and then added, you know, the Tamiya decals. Now, some of these decals went on fairly easy. They are, you know, several two pieces. And you see, I got a couple of lifts here and there, but it's fine. It's not a shell queen. I'm going to run it. I'm not going to abuse it, but I am going to run it and have some fun with it. I would love to take it out today and run it but the weather is just not cooperating, but I didn't want to just sit on this thing forever uh, and not show the final product. As you can see, there's that 540 in there. And I probably, I know I shouldn't have, but I just couldn't stand it. I had to do something to make it just a little bit faster. And I, and I know 
having two of these is probably crazy, but I am going to buy another one and just do it box stock and, uh, and leave that one alone. <laughs> so if I have somebody that comes over that uh, says, Hey man, that looks awful fun. I can put them on another one identical to it. That's uh, that's not as fast and not as apt to get out of control, but I think it turned out spectacular. I love the fact that the body stays on the rig and that the batteries are accessed to the bottom. The only thing I can tell you is this. Let me find one of the batteries because I did have to make a couple changes as far as that goes. Okay. Since I built the car and it is brushed, uh, the ESC will still accept uh, a two cell LiPo. Now the LiPos I usually run, and please don't hate me for this, is just an old cheap LiPo off of Amazon. I think these things are less than 25 bucks a pop. And they, for what, for what they are, they serve the purpose well. Um, it's just a good general purpose two cell LiPo. Um, the only problem is, you know, it's a standard brick pack. And the battery tray on the Grasshopper will not accept those batteries to save its life. It wants to. It's just a hair too long. Um, and so I did a little bit of research. I didn't want to go back to a nickel metal battery. And so I found something that was recommended for these cars. And again, these were found on eBay as well. But if as you can tell, that has the profile of an old nickel metal battery pack. Fits this car perfectly. The, uh, the pigtail fork coming out of the, the center, as opposed to this one coming out of the side, is is the game changer that and it's just a it's a just a hair shorter as you can see that makes all the difference in the world uh that way you don't have to do any crazy body or battery box modifications to that car and it's it's too nice a rig even though it's cheap it's still too nice a rig to go in there and start hacking up so this was the best alternative i could find this is a 4000 milliamp hour you know 50c burst rate two cell lipo and i have ran the battery that's in the car right now has been in that car for oh gosh I, i've not drained it yet I, I run that thing maybe 10 or 15 minutes at a time and i haven't drained it yet it's been in there for a couple of days now um, i got two of them for i think it was right around 60 bucks with shipping uh, so I couldn't, I couldn't complain and they work with my charger perfectly, no issues whatsoever, but rather than go back to a, a, a nickel metal pack or, or to go hacking up on that thing, this was the better option. So again, um, if you're planning on building one of these things, just keep that in mind. The brick packs, unless you get a smaller or shorter pack, um, is not going to work in there. So this is the best option for you right here to run lipo on that rig um but there it is man hopefully this rain will get out of here before too long and we can get out and actually do some running with this thing also if anybody is interested in the but the wheel covers again they were only like 41 dollars. i think with shipping was still less than 50 maybe 46 bucks to get them here um if you'd like i'll drop a link down below where i found them on ebay the guy that does all this stuff, does all the machining, also offers all kinds of other parts for different Tamiya rigs. Uh, I've spoken to him on the phone. He's a very nice individual based out of California. And his his work, I mean, these are absolutely amazing pieces. I have a very similar set on the, uh, the Sand Scorcher, and I love him. And I plan on doing a lot more business with the cat because he's a stand-up guy and stands behind his products. And he actually takes pride in his work. So hats off to them. Uh, again, if, you, if you'd like any information on those, please leave a, uh, a comment down below, and I'll do what I can to get you some information on those. But there she is, man. And on the next one, as soon as this rain gets out of here, we'll get out and actually do some running uh, and enjoy this thing. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it. Hope you guys like it. I love the thing. Again, it's probably one of my top two, top three rigs. Um, it's just something about turning this car on, sitting on the ground, and all of, all of a sudden I'm a teenager again. So it's like a time machine. It's just a, it's a great piece. Take good care of yourselves. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. We'll catch you on the next video. Until then, see ya.